Downing will always be remembered. He begins his quest for a gold medal. A medal of any color would be great, he says, on Thursday when the men's technical program begins in Northern Lights Hall in Hammer. The technical program tomorrow for pairs begins for Sir and Eisler, the world champions. And unfortunately, all of the skating stories so far have been overshadowed by one story. We know what that is, the Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan affair. It has been media mayhem here in Lillehammer at the Winter Olympics. And to sort it all out and bring us up to date on the situation, here's Dana Lewis of CTV News. Nancy Kerrigan seemed relaxed at her practice, gliding through her routine with a smile on her face. Figure skating is what she came to do. But some might suggest she should receive a gold medal for having to face this. Hundreds of reporters and photographers, some of them having to be pushed back by police at a news conference in Lillehammer. To shelter Kerrigan from too many inquiries regarding Tonya Harding, U.S. Well, Olympic US Committee reps handled most of the questions. Uh, they only allowed reporters to step up to the microphones score. at the end. Kerrigan was about? asked how the ongoing controversy could affect the judging of her competition. You probably would have to ask the judges or the audience this, but I, I don't think, I don't think people have a reason to feel sorry for me. I'm fine. My knees, you know, I'm very capable of um, performing. Kerrigan said she hopes what some have dubbed figure gate doesn't overshadow other competitors. Canadian skater Jose Schwinard said, on the contrary, it could help her. In a way that. If they focus on her and Tanya, I mean, they won't see me coming. It's not only the American media that's focused on the scandal, but so have Norwegian papers. One even carried a story about a film offer for Tanya Harding to play Sonia Henny, Norway's former world champion skater and actress. But even Norwegians seem tired of it all. It's on television, in the radios. So, you have no choice. You have to follow it. You wish it would go away. Ah. I would call it uh, more like a circus. There's more to come. Tanya Harding has yet to arrive in Norway. Kerrigan looked ill at ease when she was asked um, about the inevitable meeting. I don't know how I would, how I'm going to feel when I see her, and I don't know what will happen. I don't know. I'm just, and that's I think personal and between the two of us. The U.S. Olympic Committee's hearing to determine whether Tanya Harding should participate in these Olympics has been put off until next Friday in Oslo. Harding's attempt to try and block that action in an Oregon court will resume on Monday. The judge in the case has suggested perhaps Harding's lawyers and the USOC should try and work this thing out without any more legal action. That's hardly likely. Dana Lewis, CTV News, Lillehammer. We have.